so I've just been out. Only one thing came loose so far. Car feels amazing. Wow. Need the power. Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. So, today we are taking this bad boy out for testing. We're going to be running it in and we're going to be putting heat cycles through it to kind of just make sure everything is buttoned up, everything is right, there's no big issues and this is just part of, uh, part of the process when doing such a major refresh. So it's got a brand new engine, a lot of uh, stuff has been fixed on the car and like the brand new brakes and all of that so there's still a few things that need to be buttoned up on the car we obviously need to put the front bumper back on grill needs to go on there's a few wheels that need to get swapped around from either side just got to go over the pressures and then just go through fluids and whatever all right so let me just take you through a couple of things that have been done on the car after i sold the car it went into storage because the person that bought the car was in quite a big bike accident and he couldn't actually drive it so it went into storage for a while and then the car got rented out for two races and it did really well and from there the new owner decided he wanted to just clean the car up quite a bit so this car had done a lot of hard hard racing in my time they just polished the exterior and then painted the interior, painted the engine bay. Um, I added these as well to kind of clean, clean up the, the roll cage. And the, the reason we do that is so that um, when you get, get in and out of the car, you don't damage the actual tube and the paint that you've just applied. For the most part, the dash is the same. We installed new polycarb windows. They were cut by someone else. They were just delivered to us. We installed them. We used the same method as we did on the clear with these, with these bolts. So to do that we also had to take the door cards off. The door cards were installed by the painters very badly. So we put those back on. Oh, there's so much we've done. We replaced the clutch master. We replaced the clutch slave cylinder. We had endless issues with the clutch. And what it came down to was these little spring plates. So very, very long story short, the new one we got didn't work. I replaced it with a different one, still didn't work. We've put an old one on, it works. So as you can see, the uh, engine bay has been painted, it's looking really good. I did the uh, the alignment, that's in the last video, if you haven't seen that, it's DIY alignment, go check it out. This is a complete new engine, there's the old unit that was in this car. So this will be kept as a spare for whatever may happen and this is the new one so this one we're going to be running in today that's the whole purpose of today is to run it in and just put the car through load to identify any issues you want to do that on practice days so that you don't find the issues on the race day so yeah there's uh lots that's been changed new fuel line new water lines done the general maintenance stuff taped up friction areas there's new fittings on the oil cooler today like i said we're going to finish this thing up bumper on grill on make sure everything's tight then load it on the trailer head off to swipe whoops we'll see you there <laughs> All right, so I've just been out. We yeah, it's white pops now. Only one thing came loose so far. The car feels amazing. There's a few things that are wrong. The seating position is too far back. Uh, this is not my seat. This is uh, obviously a seating position for someone else. So I kind of feel like I'm stretching a bit. It's a bit tough to drive like that. I might put something in behind me. But otherwise, the car feels amazing. Engine has been reliable. It hasn't been dynoed yet. So we're running it on a, quite a conservative tune. Again, this is purely to run the car in. Very good successful first session. I probably did around six laps. So uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm gonna put the, the cameras in and then, um, yeah, we're gonna go through all the basics, you know. I'm still kind of getting my eye in. I haven't driven this track in a long time. So, uh, and also I'm not that comfortable with the car. Someone dropped a whole bunch of dirt up at, uh, 
turn five, so it was it was just no point trying to even go for any sort of lap time. Anyway, I'm going to set the cameras up. We're going to fix it. It was one bolt that just came loose. I'm going to sort that out. I'll talk you through the next lap. Okay, let's go. So on the out lap, going through the pits now. Let's hope there's no issues. Just have to, just have to watch the traffic. Car feels good. So basically it's just going to warm up the tires. Second session done. Uh, it went well. Car feels good. It feels very quick. I'm very optimistic. It's rotating a bit more than I like through turn four. Otherwise, I hear lots of whistling. I don't know who that is. But anyway, so we're just going to feel it out, do some more laps. I'll try and take you through the lap a bit more. Um, I was kind of feeling the car out a lot. What it's really going to do under load now. Um, feels a very different compared to when I drove it. I know uh, quite a bit has been changed on the rear and that, so we, we will continue. So you always walk, try and warm up the tyres, just watch for the traffic.
So I've decided to call it, I think I've done enough laps in the car, I'm happy with the car, I'm not in the perfect position so it's, a, it's always a bit of compromise but I've put the car through quite a lot of heat cycles, I've put it through a very high, low, high load scenario, um, it seems to be performing wonderfully, it needs to run in a bit more but uh, I think it's pretty good and ready to go to the diner so um, yeah overall a great day's testing um, I'm not sure if you got everything you needed from the, the lap it was always a bit, a bit hectic I was like always kind of just trying to find my rhythm with it but it's what we call commentators rust you know <laughs> anyway thank you guys so much for watching thanks for joining us if you like this hit the subscribe button or the notification bell whatever Thanks for joining us guys, we'll see you in the next one, ciao!